Rich DeMarco with Army football coach Jeff Munkin just wrapping up this 2014 season, his first as head coach of the Black Knights. Well, Jeff, we thank you for spending some time with us. And let's start with the final game of the year, the Army-Navy game on Saturday. And your thoughts, your team did not give up, had fight that entire game. Well, we're sorely disappointed that we lost the game. And uh, you know, this is just a couple days after. We're still reeling from it. But... Uh, you know, our guys put up a tremendous fight. I thought they, they gave a great, great effort. Uh, it wasn't because of a lack of effort. We just didn't execute in some key situations. There were a couple of big plays in the game that, uh, that really, I think, were turning points in the game for us. Uh, and uh, if, if, if we had executed on those couple of plays, we probably would have had a different outcome. And, and, uh, and that's what makes it uh, it's so disappointing to know that we were that close. And, and uh, couldn't come away with a victory. What did you say to the team in the locker room after the game? I just said uh, I was tremendously proud of our team. Uh, that they certainly had nothing to be ashamed of in terms of their effort from that game. And and uh, just we talked about uh, about our team and, and the brotherhood that this team shares and and uh, and the love that we have for each other and and uh, that that was that was something that helped us get over some tough times during the season and it's going to help us get through this tough time uh, losing to our biggest rival that you know it's it's that brotherhood that's going to bring us back in the off season and get us prepared for next season. You've often said it was Christmas Eve 2013 when you decided to accept the job as head coach here at West Point. It's been a year a lot of changes culture accountability a number of the things which you've made a priority when you think back to this year do you think of how much you've been able to change? Has it been to the point at which you would have hoped after one year? Oh, I hoped we would win, win every game. I, uh, my expectations aren't, aren't any different uh, the first year than they will be uh, in the 101st year. I, I, want the, I want the same things. I want everybody performing at their peak level and, uh, and doing the best that they can. And, and uh, I think our, our, our team, our staff, everybody associated with the organization, the, the, the whole program has, has worked really hard. We're certainly not where I want us to be. And we didn't have the success that I hoped we would in this first year. And, uh, and, and we're going to get there. We're better than we were when we started. Uh, we're not where we're going to be. Um, but, uh, but fortunately, we've made improvements. And, and I can see the change in our team and in our program from a year ago to now and uh and hopefully we'll improve that much in in our second year on the field the x's and o's your option offense which to many army fans wasn't what they had seen the past couple of years really a fullback quarterback heavy option how do you feel your implementation of that went here in this 2014 year well it's it's not my offense it's an offense that i've been a part of for many years and and uh uh, with, with, with Coach Johnson uh, really being a mentor to me and who I learned under, uh, that, that is our offense. It is a very heavy um, quarterback, fullback offense. And, and I think you got to be good up the middle. And, and, and that's something that, that I learned from my mentor, that, uh, that that's, those are important positions in getting the whole thing started. So um, we want to make sure that we're a threat everywhere on the field, that, that we've got guys at every position that, that can make plays. And it's not just that we've got to have a good quarterback and fullback. We've got to have good offensive linemen. We've got to have good skill players. And, uh, and that's going to help the offense go. It's going to help round out our offense. And, and certainly that's something we'll continue to do to develop our team, to, to, to ready the guys that we've got in the program and recruit guys that we feel are a fit for us moving forward. You've often mentioned this senior class and what they meant to you here in 2014. How important were they in helping bring your changes, what you wanted out of Army football and having the whole team really on the same page buying in? I'm so appreciative of, of this group of, of seniors. It's a big group of seniors. And uh, they, uh, they're, they're put in a rare position in their, in their final season of, uh, of playing for a new coach, a coaching staff that didn't recruit them. Um, different schemes and philosophies in every phase of the game and uh, and they bought in and they they've, they've tried to do everything that we've asked and provide the leadership that our team needs and uh, and even through tough times though we didn't we fell short of our expectations and we 
we, uh, we certainly set our goals high. There was no quit in these guys, and I think they really did a great job of teaching our young guys, the guys that are going to follow them, uh, our sophomores and, 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 and freshmen particularly, those guys that are really young and, and are learning from the juniors and seniors um, on how to lead and, uh, and how to buy in and what it really means to be a team player. And I'm excited about the junior class that are now going to be our seniors. I think that's a good group of, uh, of young men. And uh, I know they're as close to those seniors as anybody. And, uh, and, and hopefully they'll lead and they'll, they'll uh, have the same uh, sense of responsibility that I think this senior class felt toward the program. How tough were the injuries this year, especially along that offensive line? We, we were really struggling uh, there at a part you know, through the middle of the season, uh, just not knowing who was going to play. Uh, having guys playing on Saturday that hadn't practiced all week or bringing a guy back uh, after not having practiced or played for three or four weeks and he has to start because there's nobody else. Now that, that's a struggle. That's difficult. And Gosh, I, I, I went through a season like that a year ago uh, at the last school I was at, and, and uh, it's, a, it's a little frustrating. We, you know, we've looked at everything we do uh, in terms of our development and our, our, uh, our preparation, our practices, and I think we're doing the right things. It's just it's one of those things, and, and uh, you know, we had to overcome a lot of adversity where, where the injuries were concerned. I think that was, that was good for our team in, in teaching us a lot of lessons, but hopefully we're gonna, uh, hopefully we're gonna have a, a, a healthy team in the off season, get some of these guys surgery that need it and uh, give them time to, to develop their bodies physically. So we have far fewer problems a year from now uh, than we did this year. It's always great to see a player who maybe hasn't had the opportunity to play break out and have a really big year. Jeremy Timp on defense comes to mind. Just tell me about Jeremy's play and what he was able to show you as a player stepping into the lineup and how he performed this year. I think Jeremy's a really good football player. Um, he's just one of those guys that, that finds a way on defense to get to the ball and make the tackle. And he doesn't, he doesn't always fit everything perfect. He doesn't he doesn't play flawlessly in terms of his assignments at times, but he finds a way to make plays. And uh, I, I think Coach Corliss does a, a tremendous job coaching him and, and the other linebackers uh, in there. He, and Jeremy and, uh, and Andrew King really took the bulk of the snaps all year. And that's one of the few positions uh, this season where there was a lot of consistency, where we had the same guys in there for for uh, a good amount of the, the season. So uh, I'm, I'm encouraged that he's only a sophomore. We got a lot of time left with him. I think he'll only improve. And um, he, was, uh, he, he was a major contributor for us, as everybody knows that watched us on defense and made a bunch of tackles. Uh, really proud of his effort. And uh, we're excited we're going to get to coach him some more. Jeff, on the other side of the ball, the quarterback position. Angel Santiago at that spot this year. We did see A.J. Schur at times. How did you feel about that position during 2014 and now moving forward? I think both of those guys you mentioned are really tough guys. They're just tough competitors. And uh, uh, neither is blessed with great speed. They're not, uh, you know, they're not uh, those, oh, my goodness, make you miss kind of guys in open field. And they know that. And, uh, and we do too, and we just, you know, they played within the offense and, and, uh, and really did a great job of leading our team. Both of them really, really terrific leaders and, uh, and, and, and tough kids who competed. And Angel, in particular, who came under a lot of criticism, and, just, and you're gonna get criticism at that position when you're not winning every game and you're not winning more than you're losing. Uh, the quarterback's going to get a lot of criticism, and, and some of it came from us, and we challenged him to play better, and just such a mentally tough kid. He, he, he always came back and was ready to compete the next week, and I'm so proud of his effort and excited to have A.J. back, a guy who's played and, and has had some experience in, in games and big games like, like the one on Saturday to have him back for another year. And of course, Jeff's special teams, something which you pride yourself on as a former special teams coordinator. Back-to-back -back games at the end of the season, blocked punts, returned, recovered for touchdowns. Alex Tardew had a great year, and you got a long field goal from Daniel Grochowski against Navy. 
I, I thought our, our special teams improved throughout the year like the rest of our team. Um, we're very blessed to have a guy like, like Alex Tardu as our punter. Uh, just an outstanding player. As good a player as we have on our team at his position, uh, he downed more punts. Uh, our punt team downed more of his punts inside the 10-yard line than, uh, than were returned. Uh, I think there were only five punts returned against us all year for negative yardage. And I'm really proud of that team for, for that effort, but, but that has as much to do with Tardu as anybody. Um, uh, Gruchowski had a, a, a really good year for us. Um, and battled through some injury. He, he had some big kicks early in the year. Um, he, he didn't hit a couple of them, uh, but to have the mental toughness to come back and, and hit some of those that he did was really, I mean, he's a veteran guy. He's been in big games and a perfect example Saturday, he didn't hit the first field goal and he came by, back and, and hit a 52 yarder when we needed it. So I thought he did a nice job. I thought our, our special teams covering kicks did a really nice job all year, and that's that's not easy to do. Kick, kick the ball down there to to uh, what are you know some of their their best players returning returning kicks and and covering them. Uh, the blocked punts were huge for us. Made a big difference in the Fordham game, and and uh, really gave us momentum to start the Army Navy game. And it's unfortunate we couldn't uh, we couldn't finish it out after a big start like that, but. You get big plays like that on special teams, they're, they're a huge momentum shift. And, and uh, it's, a, it's a game of field position. And so many yards ha have the potential to be traded on those plays. When you can punt a ball and pin them for field position, you can kick off and cover a kick, you can block a punt and, and, uh, and make a big play. Uh, anytime the field gets flipped on one of those plays, it's, it's a big play. So uh, we do take a lot of pride in special teams. We spend a lot of time on it in practice, and, and uh, having the background that I do, it is important to me. Looking forward to 2015, what are the priorities? What are the first things that need to get done to continue to move this program forward? Well, the, the season for next year already started. It started as soon as the, the, uh, the final whistle was blown on Saturday night. And uh, our, our guys that will be returning uh, already, I hope, are looking forward to next season uh, as I am. I, I can't wait to, uh, to get the off-season program started and, and get going. This week, uh, our returning players will, will probably come and lift some on their own. It's a discretionary week, uh, so we don't have a formal workout going. That's mandated by, by NCA rule that, that we have a certain number of weeks that we do that throughout the year. So this is one of those. But, when we return in January, we'll get them started right away and, and uh, develop this team and, and uh, hopefully get better physically with the guys that we have and look forward to spring practice and build on, on what we've done in the last year. And I think that's, that's where you see improvement in a program and where a program is really built. You go through the spring and the season, the spring and another season, and another spring and another season, and, and pretty soon those guys are really ingrained into the culture and the philosophy and, uh, and, and just the, the fundamentals and techniques that they learn over and over and over again. And they, they grow up through the program learning those same things. So I think that's going to be a positive for us. Um, you know, I'm, I'm excited for these seniors and, uh, and the opportunities that they have now that they're going to be graduating from West Point with uh, a world-class degree and, and the opportunities that they'll have to lead and serve and uh, to see them go off and do great things for our nation and, and the example that they'll, they'll have set for, for these other guys that will follow them. And uh, it, it never stops. The, the, the effort never stops with the guys we have right here on our campus. But uh, a major part of our future is going to be recruiting. And all of our coaches are on the road today. I'll join them tomorrow and uh, we'll be on the road all this week. And then uh, upon returning in January, uh, we'll get our guys started in, in school that first week in January. Then we'll be back out on the road again for three more weeks. We'll have uh, probably close to 70 prospects that will we'll visit our campus um, before we're all done with recruiting. And, uh, and we'll have a, a class of, of young guys, uh, future cadets and, and future football players here at West Point that that uh, in the years to come we'll be watching. So that's something that we've got to do this year and next year and the following year and every year 
to build the talent pool in this program to what we need it to be, to be a championship football program, to be able to compete with, with the best teams in the country. And I, I, my expectation for this program is that we are going to be a championship program and that soon we'll be playing in the postseason and we're, we're going to be playing a schedule over the next few years that include teams like Rutgers and Penn State and Notre Dame and some of the best teams in the country. And if, if we're going to play, then my expectation is that, that we're going to win. And if we're going to have a chance to do that, we're going to have to have the best players possible to, to be able to compete with those great teams. So that's the, that's the responsibility of our staff to go identify and, and, uh, and bring to campus and, and, and keep them here and develop them into the kind of players we need to so that we can compete with those great teams. Jeff, it's been quite a first 12 months. Looking forward to the next 12 months. And, of course, spring football right around the corner. We're looking forward to that. And uh, it was a, a lot of fun this year. Certainly didn't get the, uh, the results on, on every Saturday that I'd hoped we would get, but uh, we're, we're a lot better football team than we were when we started. That's encouraging. Hopefully that improvement will continue. Uh, I'm just so impressed with being a part of this, this great institution and this, this storied program to, to, to be able to coach in this stadium uh, on five different Saturdays this year and have the Corps Cadets they're just standing behind our team on every play and and uh, just to be a part of the the rich history and tradition of this program has really been incredible and a, uh, a great honor and a privilege for myself and for my family and we're looking forward to next year and and uh, many great years to come well jeff we appreciate everything from this past year we'll talk to you down the road Thank you. that's army head coach jeff munkin joining us wrapping up the 2014 army football season for night vision i'm rich demarco